You are joining me here on the Honeywell booth at IFSEC 2016, where I'm joined by Mark from Honeywell Building Solutions. Mark, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, talk to me, uh, Honeywell, large company, everyone's heard of Honeywell, but talk to me specifically about Honeywell Building Solutions, or HBS. Yeah, Honeywell Building Solutions is a uh, part of the company of Honeywell that where we provide a comprehensive suite of security offerings that uh, we integrate. So we integrate comfort, we integrate security, we integrate fire, um, we integrate access control, and um, we serve that uh, over 60,000 uh, customers uh, across the world. And who typically are your customers then? Uh, customers, uh, we have a large variety of customers. Uh, we've got uh, healthcare customers, so hospitals, uh, airports, uh, we got stadiums, particularly here in the UK, a couple of stadia. Uh, we've uh, got uh, general commercial buildings, but most of it is more higher end uh, where we actually uh, can serve the customer for need for integration. Terrific, so a broad swathe of customers, like you say, including here in the UK. What kind of conversations are you having with your visitors, with your customers here at IFSEC 2016? Yeah. Well, a new development, what we see is integration and connectivity. Um, we're having some products here on display, or solutions, I should say, um, that actually support that integration. Uh, but really what you've seen in the, in the home um, yeah, in, in homes is that people are getting used to get easy access, easy usage of their, of their uh, smartphones, for example, or t uh, connected with TVs. That's actually what we're also doing with buildings. So when it comes to security, uh, when an incident happens, you could have a fire, but you instantly also want to see the picture of what's happening. So not only the alarm goes off, but what's actually going on um, when the incident happens. So that's what we integrate. It's an interesting about face because once upon a time it would be the technology that we were seeing in the professional market that would influence what consumers saw in their homes. Right. Now it's almost the other way around, isn't it? It, it is, it, it, it definitely is, David. And uh, what you now see is that those solutions are, are uh, yeah, available for everybody uh, to, to access. Maybe just uh, a, a, a short. We have one behind us here, don't we? This is your command and control suite on a, a, a very large touch screen here. Talk, talk me through this very so, quickly, Mark. So uh, what you see here is, is actually an overview of a building. If uh, we just uh, are allowed to, uh, John, maybe you can go back to the, the main screen. So you've got, you've got a main building here, uh, a platform. You can actually zoom around and actually go, oh, uh, so, oh, sorry, I can oh, touch it back. So, touch screen, very easy to, to zoom in. Uh, but what you then also see is when, when you see, zoom in, you get more detail. And if you really want to see what's going on, you have actually a camera here. So it's very much intuitive. So what you actually are used to from a consumer perspective is now also available in the industrial world. Sure. Uh, finally, for, for now, Mark, um, talk to me about, about the future, about, about the near future, the next 12, 18, 24 months or so. What sort of trends you're seeing that will influence what your customers are demanding? So the other trend is cloud-based services and mobile mobility, mo uh, mobile apps. Uh, again, something that's coming from the consumer trend that's actually coming also to the uh, to the business to business world. Um, so we've developed apps uh, that we can use for alarm handling. So if something happens, that you immediately have a pop up in on your smartphone. Uh, cloud cloud based services. You don't necessarily need to have your own infrastructure, but you can actually put things into the cloud. Obviously, with security. Cybersecurity is a very, very big element, and that's uh, that's something that we also take care of when we look at our products and the total environment. Because cybersecurity in itself uh, is is an issue for uh, uh, for customers if the, if you see that the world is coming more and more connected. Yeah. 
indeed and the you know the, the stats that we hear from every analyst out there about the internet of things and 20 50 200 billion devices connected in the next five years or so security be it physical security if these devices are controlling access or cyber security it isn't going away it's a very exciting industry in which to work isn't it absolutely and uh, when you talk about the internet of things it is really about getting getting that connected and and that's what we're doing here with our solutions Terrific. Uh, Mark from HBS, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. Have a great rest of IFSEC 2016. Well, thank you, David.